Hello, welcome back to the start of another weekly vlog. It is Tuesday that I'm kicking off this weekly vlog, not my normal kickoff day. I mean, I've done it before, but normally when I have kicked off on a Tuesday, it's because something went wrong or I didn't feel like vlogging over the weekend. This time it's totally on purpose because I extended last week's weekly vlog through Sunday. And then yesterday I filmed a day in the life. So if you haven't checked out that video, go check it out. I literally film from the time that my alarm goes off in the morning until the time that I get into bed sharing my entire day. So go check that video out and let's get a new weekly vlog started. It is Tuesday morning, I'm sitting down at my desk and I'm about to start work, but I wanted to tell you about something before I did that, and it is this nail polish kit. So the one of the biggest things that I have been missing during this time is going to get my nails done. I was pretty consistently going to get a gel manicure before everything started because I just, it saves me so much time. I am a picker, you can see I already picked one of them off, and I just, it, my nails with regular nail polish doesn't usually last more than a few days. So I was consistently getting gel so that they were looked nice and consistent for, they usually last me almost two weeks. Um, it didn't chip, it never chipped, it was just that it would grow out and it looked bad. And so then I would go get them done again. I had a place right by my apartment that I absolutely loved and now I'm not getting my nails done. So I talked on Instagram the other day about some different options to potentially have like a more long lasting color on my nails. And I know that you can do gel at home, but I don't really, I didn't really want to buy a heat lamp. And so I was looking into dip nails, which I did order some. Heather Kell from Kell of a Plant is actually super sweet. And she had a bunch of extra credits at Dipwell Nails and she used her credits to order me uh, some Dipwell stuff. That has not arrived yet, but when it does, I will definitely try it and definitely share that with you. I'm excited to try it. That's kind of what started this whole nail Thing, like trying to figure out a new system for painting my nails at home besides just regular polish. The other big recommendation that I got is called Dazzle Dry. My friend Brooke has been loving this stuff and a lot of you messaged me and said to check this out. So they had a sale over the weekend because it was their birth, maybe it wasn't over the weekend, maybe it was last week. It arrived yesterday, but it, they had a sale because it was their birthday or whatever. And so I got a mini kit. So it's not full size products, but it has their whole system. And I got this I, th I thought was kind of more of a neutral pink color. In the bottle it looks like almost bubblegum pink. I'm hoping that that shows up differently once it's on my nails because my goal for this is to have my nails painted nicely for our engagement photos. So I am going to paint them today. I have this long meeting that I don't actually have to talk during, so I'm gonna paint them during that meeting and see how it goes. And hopefully it lasts through our engagement photos on Saturday. The truth is I'm probably gonna pack some sort of nail polish and take it with us because I just know myself and I, I don't want to be in a place where I mess my nails up. Like those engagement photos, that's the time that I want my nails to look nice. So I will, I'm going to paint them today and pray that they last through the weekend, but I'm going to pack some stuff just in case. So basically right after I film that clip, my dip well order arrived. I'm super excited to try this, but I don't think I'm going to do it today or even before we leave this weekend because this just seems like a lot more intense than the dazzle dry system and just like a lot more work and i want to be able to relax and take my time with it and really like play with it the first time and all the things i need to get done over the next few days before we head out of town this is just not going to be one of them but i'm really excited to test it out if you have ever done dip at home and you have any tips at all or any other videos that i should watch i've watched heather's videos um and i've watched like the professional like the official dip well videos but if you have any other people that you have watched before that help you do dip at home i would love any of your tips and recommendations okay i'm done with work and done with my nails it took me a couple of meetings and i'll tell you why the color that i ordered let me tell you what it's called the color i ordered from dazzle dry ended up being way 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 more see-through clear i can never remember if opaque means more see-through or less see-through, whatever. It is pinkies up is the color I chose and the picture on the website made it look like a lot more of a like very not see-through light pink and I thought that was perfect for engagement photos. The color I don't mind in general, but I don't like it for engagement photos because by the time I built it up so that it was like, it was still kind of see-through, like you could still see the white part of my nail, it was like, almost bubblegum pink. And again, I will use it and it, it is fine, but 
it was not what I wanted for engagement photos. So then I was like, all right, do I try the dip well stuff? Do I like actually try that before we leave? And I was like, I don't have, I don't have time. I have other things I need to finish, other things I want to do. And I don't want to, I don't want to mess with that until I get back. I want to enjoy that process. I don't want to rush through it. So then I started digging through my own stash and truthfully, I didn't bring all that many colors with me. And also none of them that I really wanted to be like neutral engagement photo nails. But I did bring my white and I thought about doing just all white, like white nails. But what I decided to do instead, and I'm still not sure if I love it or not, is a French manicure. So I took my white and I did the white edges and that took me like a whole phone call that I was on to do the white edges and then to clean them up. And then I did the dazzle dry. I did use the light pink that came with the kit, but I only used one coat of it. So it's super, super clear on top of it. And I did the whole dazzle dry system on top of the white. And I mean, it, it was very easy. It dried very quick. So we'll just see if it doesn't chip. And that, I mean, I'm definitely nervous about that because this is a lot harder to like touch up in a hotel room than like an actual nail color to try and like recreate the French if I mess one of these up. And it's only Tuesday and our photos are on Saturday. So I'm a little bit nervous, I'm not gonna lie. But I, I like how they turned out. And I think, you know, there'll be like one close up picture of my hand and like that'll be it. Otherwise it'll be pretty far away. I'm excited how it turned out. So now I know I will use the pink because I will use it in the French system. But I did really like it and I'm really tempted to buy some more Dazzle Dry colors just to try it out. I also got a message on Instagram saying somebody who uses it for their toes. So even if I do like the dip on my hands, if I buy the Dazzle Dry, I can use it on my toes. I'm not, cause I'm not gonna dip my toes, obviously. <laughs> so I think I might buy a couple more colors. Also, it was just really fast. So even though I, I, I might like the dip system, I think that that's gonna take more time. And so if I'm ever in a rush, I can use the Dazzle Dry system where I can still get you know nails that are gonna last me longer than regular polish. So that's the update. Now I need to go just get ready. I don't do a full face of makeup, but I need to put some stuff, something on before lattes with Lincoln. Hello, it is Wednesday afternoon. It has been another busy, busy day at work. In fact, I was planning to clean during lunch and didn't get around to it. So like clean, clean. Uh, I think I mentioned somewhere my family is coming down here this weekend while we're going to Austin. So I just wanna like do another sweep of the floors and the counters and like wipe everything down before they get here. But I just wanted to check in and say hi and my nails are still holding up. Hopefully, hopefully they hold up for the weekend. I'm still so nervous about it. Uh, but I will tell you what I'm, what I came on here to tell you is I ordered more of the Dazzle Dry system. I just, it was so impressed with how quickly it dried and the tip part of the French was really hard, but the actual dazzle dry part of it was very easy. So I decided to order the full size bottles and then a couple colors, just a couple to start. It's not inexpensive, let's put it that way, but they're having a sale. So I couldn't resist. So I got a couple more colors. I'll definitely share it with you when it comes in so you can see the colors and see what they look like. What I did though, when I was trying to pick colors, cause I learned my lesson that this one did not look like the color did on the website and I didn't read all the description. There's like a description that says whether it's full coverage or like sheer coverage. And I should have read all the details. But the other thing I did is that I watched somebody on YouTube who does swatches where she swatches like all of the Dazzle Dry colors. So I'll link her below. If you're interested in trying out Dazzle Dry, go watch her swatch videos before you buy anything so you can see what it actually looks like. So one of the colors that I had in my cart, it just confirmed that I really loved it and I wanted it. One, I actually switched it out for something different. So just go go watch those videos before you buy something and turns out it's not a color you actually wanted. Hello, it is Thursday and we're in Austin. We drove up this morning, well we went and picked up the rent car, drove up this morning and got our day started. We went straight to our first tasting at Rudy's Barbecue. If you're from Texas, you know you know Rudy's. Um, and it was delicious. Rudy's does not disappoint. Their sides are incredible. Like, oh, potato salad. I That's probably my favorite barbecue side, hands down, period. And Rudy's was amazing. And their sauce, their sauce is probably my favorite barbecue sauce of all time. I mean, we'll see, we'll see over the next few days, but I already knew that I loved Rudy's barbecue sauce. And the woman that we got to meet there was fantastic. She just was so friendly and welcoming and just Rudy's feels very homey. It feels very homey, very Southern. And it was just, it was great. It was a really great experience and everything was delicious and we felt very safe. You know, we sat outside, she had on her mask the whole time. We had on our masks except for when we were actually eating and it just, it all felt, it felt very safe. Safe. So 
it was really good. And then we went and picked up a to-go tasting kit from the first cake place, which is just a really cool concept. Like when I think about the fact that like this situation has changed our wedding planning experience, sometimes it's frustrating, right? Sometimes it's not the experience that I wanted or was expecting to have, but being able to like sit in a hotel room and like eat the cake, just the two of us, and being able to just talk like really openly about what we think about it, it's so different than I think if we had done a tasting at the actual bakery, like if we'd sat there and tasted with them, you know, then I don't know if I would be as open. Like there was one of the frostings or fillings that we had that I just like hated. And I, I mean, I'm a pretty open person, but I also like am a people pleaser. So I don't think that I would have just like said that if we had been in front of the people like at the bakery, you know what I mean? So even though it's not like a traditional experience, like I don't know what it's like to sit in the bakery. I don't know what that would have been like. I do kind of like being able to sit in the hotel room and do it at our own pace. And it's kind of nice. So um we have already had a lot of food and we don't have that much longer until our next like dinner tasting but we have a little bit of time to just chill in the hotel i think we're both gonna I'm, i need to finish editing tomorrow's video and i think sam's gonna do some work too and then we'll head head to our next place i made these little print out sheets I'm, I'm sure you're very surprised that has like a rate where we can rate all of the different meats and all the different sides and all like the bread and everything else that they throw onto it and what like all the comparisons i did the same thing for the venue tours like i had a spreadsheet and then i just printed out a, a, a blank page for each venue tour i filled in the information i knew ahead of time did the same thing here with the caterers and then we can you know take our notes so when we did the venue tours i just had one like between the two of us because a lot of it was less like opinions and more just like questions whereas this is like our opinions and what we actually think you guys this is clearly Sam's favorite part of wedding planning because his notes are amazing. Like he is taking incredibly detailed notes. Like I don't even need one. Like I don't even need to give my thoughts because it's very impressive. Is this your favorite part? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm glad you think my notes are meticulous and thorough. They are like, they're so impressive. I, you, they're, it's awesome. It's been, it's been really great so far and we've only done two places. So we still have, five more barbecue places to go to and two more bakeries to pick up. And we have leftovers of both in our fridge at our hotel room right now. Well, we just got back to the hotel after day two of all of our tastings. I swear we are going to gain like 10 pounds while we're in Austin. We have now eaten at four barbecue places. It's the wedding 10. The, the wedding 10. So we've tried four different barbecue places. They've all been delicious. I mean, it's Texas, so barbecue is amazing. Which one has been your favorite so far? I think the best brisket right now is Black's. I agree, yeah, they definitely have the best brisket and their mac and cheese was fantastic. Dynamite. All the other sides though, I think Rudy's wins on the other sides. Although the cornbread casserole at Pokey Joe's was probably my favorite side of all time that we've had. I also like the turkey better at, at Rudy's. At Rudy's. Yep. And it's a different type of sausage, both. Yeah, the sausages are both good. Um, but they're different. But there's a lot of pros and cons to all of the ones. I mean, you gotta think about costs and what they offer and all those things. And so I think I think we've kind of narrowed it down to two so far, but we still have two more to go to tomorrow. We've also now done two different bakeries. We've picked up tastings, which man, I just think it's been, that's been a great experience to like do the tastings by ourselves. And I think we've eliminated one of them because the one we had today was just the cake was better in my opinion it was fluffier and the frosting just had just much better flavor yeah it packed more flavor and it's less expensive so like i mean that's pretty easy i mean so we'll see we still have one more bakery to go to tomorrow two more barbecue places and one more bakery so we'll see i i really do like how we're doing all this like right in a row like planning a wedding when you don't live in the city is tough don't get me wrong but we did the same thing with the venues where we came here for two days and we just powered through all the venues and it made it easier because we remembered everything and then we could just pick one and the same thing i think is true now for the caters and the cakes is we are in town for three days and we're powering through and it's easy to remember everything and just pick one when you're done all right we're done no kind of we're done eating we have now successfully eaten at six barbecue places and three cake places in three days 
It's a lot of food. A lot of, lot of threes. A lot of threes and a lot of decisions to make. Um, I think we've made the cake decision uh, based on that last one. I think we know based on just the aesthetic and the taste and the prices, just which, which way we want to go. Uh, the barbecue though, we are still struggling. We've narrowed it down to three and they're all great. They all have their pros and uh, it's just it's gonna be tough, but we're gonna make a spreadsheet, make a pro con list and look at the numbers and really remind ourselves what we love about each one. And I think whatever we end up deciding is gonna be great. I felt this way with the venue too when it came down to it. Like any of the ones we chose, we were gonna like love and it was gonna be great. And I think the same thing is true here with the barbecue. But uh, it's been a wonderful couple days in Austin. And now we are headed to safely social distance in a park I say that because it looks like it's gonna rain. And we're supposed to go meet another couple and get to to sit six feet apart from them in a park and catch up. But I don't know what's gonna happen with this weather, but that's hopefully our next move so we can see some friends and do something that feels a little bit normal. I have to say that I, I do feel like it, I felt very safe. Um, while we've been out and about. Like everyone has had their masks on. There's been hand sanitizer everywhere. Like people have kept their distance for the, for the most part. There are a couple, couple not the, the restaurants or any of the places. I've been very impressed with all of like the locations and what they've been doing. There's just been a couple like people, like normal people that come. It's like, just put your mask on, okay? But uh, anyway, it's been really good. So. Also, totally forgot to mention, we went and got our engagement photos done this morning before we did all the tastings, and it was awesome. Like, I am so glad that we decided to do that because we got to meet our photographer and hang out with her, and the pictures, she did some sneak peeks on Instagram. I shared all of them, so if you follow me on Instagram, you got to see it, and they just turned out so beautiful. So I'm gonna go ahead and close out this weekly vlog here because I need to get it edited and ready to go for Monday. So that is gonna be it for this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, please click that subscribe button. I upload new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Thank you so much for watching. No, oh, don't you dare look back. Just keep your eyes on me. I said you're holding back. She said, shut up and dance with me. This woman is my destiny. She said, ooh, ooh, shut up and dance with me. I, th I came a little bit of The TV looks like it's poking out of my head. The, of a color or nail, nail, duh, duh, words. And it is this. Ugh, let me get it.